Alright. Uh, we're back today, and we're just gonna go through Mount Moon. And so today, it was a pretty hectic adventure, to say the least. Uh, so we started off going through Route 3. Uh, pretty cheesy train or something. Too difficult. Same team, no changes, just pretty much picking up exactly where we left off. So we take out the Glam Meow, one hit KO, and then uh, the Nidran as well. Not too bad. The uh, rest of the trainers are pretty nonchalant. Uh, a lot of bug trainers. A little more annoying than others just because of like that reflect you saw there. Um, that's not that bad. The Snob was an interesting one. The snob is like a really, really weak one, but its evolution is like partially strong and weak at the same time, I guess. It's a unique one. I don't know. I was thinking about trying to hunt it. But its shiny form is like the same color as its like normal color, so it's not really a, a fun shiny. I guess not much to say about uh, Sanchu here either. Um, so I've learned Swift. Well, I tried to learn Swift, but thinking about it, like I don't really have to deal with evasion much. Um, I was contemplating getting rid of Ice Shard, but Ice Shard is too good just because I have that priority. So I went and just kept it. Um, Sizzle Peed was an interesting one that has a, a, a good Dynamax, uh, which I just got the Dynamax band at the beginning of the video, if you can see. So we keep going through, melting through the rest of this. Um, all the trainers on Route 3 pretty easy. This is the one that kicked my ass. Um, it's a flying Pikachu. Never thought I'd see one. Didn't know you could get one in the game. Don't know if you can, but this girl has a flying Pikachu. But yeah, it was a uh, it was an interesting one nonetheless. This small while was a video of a pain too. Has metal bursts of move I've never seen before. Must have been something new. Um, so I went ahead and swapped out. Uh, brought out Chewie and took it out with a nice fire bang. But I feel like Pikachu is still unique, but I wouldn't mind trying to find one just because it loses the ground to, or the. it becomes, I guess, flying? So it makes it a little bit harder. It's almost like a Zap does. Just a Pikachu one, I guess. And Zappy Zap critted every time, if you didn't notice that. It was absolutely disgusting. Here I decided to learn Swagger uh, with Obama and just uh, for utility use later. Uh, the man that I might be able to pull it off instead of Icy Wings. Icy Wings not really going to be necessary, honestly. I have uh, Icy Wings Shard a lot better. Um, we go ahead and kill this Moose Cot, this ugly looking thing. Uh, go back and just heal real quick just because I'm too lazy to top everything off. Uh, be a potion and stuff. I'll take out the last uh, Blood Trainer. I learned the Thunder Wave because Play Nice just never works. And Thunder Wave has some better utility, especially with Pikachu is being a decent speed. Up paralysis would be good uh, use. Uh, picked up Teleport, which is interesting. And then here, so I kind of go through the grass a bunch to see what's available. Uh, I use Covet on the Meowth because they have Nuggets. And so you can just farm Nuggets off the Wild Meowth forever. And that's how I have a ton of money and a ton of like balls of potions. I decided against Headbutt because it's just. Because Snubble is so slow that like, trying to get the Headbutt proc or uh, the flinch is not worth it. And plus, all the fights can uh, also flinch on top of the normal status effect. Uh, this one I go through really quick just to see what other mods there is, which was Jigglypuff and Echoes, the last two I was missing. Um, that's a max raid then. Uh, I ended up being a Mancino. I went ahead and did it, uh, but I, I left it out of the video just because it was just me trying to figure out how to Dynamax and stuff. So I was just like, oh, whatever. Not really that. I mean, it's a fun thing. I might introduce it in another video. Do it later. Um, I use it on the Pikachu to see what it evolves to, which is just regular Raichu, and so I was a little let down because I wanted the Alolan one. 
Oh, which I find out needs a shiny stone, so I'll definitely need to work on that later. I'll find out what mons are available there, and I start going through. I see that Trampage is available in the cave, so I took a mental note of that, because I definitely would like to have a shiny flag on down, down the road. I don't need one. Uh, take on the stranger with the nice little Magnemite, and then he has a Toxel, a very interesting one. Uh, super slow, because I outsped it even with the uh, balls being paralyzed. Just adventure through grab some stuff, saw what mons are available. Um, got that muscle band. Didn't know that guy gave it to me, I just talked to him randomly. Uh, put it on my snowball just because it increases physical attacks and that's how my snowball works. Uh, so I thought that might help out quite a bit since it already hits pretty hard. Check the moonstone, nothing falls from that. Uh, and continue on. I noticed that like uh, every floor has different mons that can spawn. Uh, I didn't really go through and like, memorize all of them. I should go back and eventually do it. Go through and start killing some of the team rocket. Um, the silico was an interesting one. He hit me really hard and just killed me. Too bad. Topped off uh, Charlie and moved on. The next team rocket member. Smoochin was an interesting find as well. Not the move I thought, I think it's disgusting. I have a normal red tide against this one. That was an easy take out. Obviously, it's too bad. These are jokes. This is a uh, first like mini boss fight. Uh, so it was a double battle. So, Wacky and Voltor. Like, okay, this is not a decent, uh, not too bad of a matchup. So he's got the electric type and then the grass type. So when it started off with a good old Will O Wisp just to burn it because it's wacky, it kind of hits like a truck. I thought I'd try uh, swaggering. I think it was swaggering. Oh, it was Grass Whistle. I thought I'd Grass Whistle the Voltor, but got flaked, faked out, and the self shark went off, which kind of hurt. Did a decent chunk to, uh, to Charlie, but Obama tanked it pretty well. For some reason, it was not very effective, so I, I think the self shark changed his type in this game, which is really weird. And then I went ahead and burned the uh, wacky with the little wisp. And the grassy train and killed everything. I speed up a few times during the fight just because um, a lot of the after turn effects I have been just take forever. Out comes a skiddo. I'm like, okay, that's gonna be easy because now there's just grass types on the field and I got ice and fire, so. Pretty easy fight. Start off with the priority ice shard, do about quarter damage, follow it up by a nice flame wheel. Skiddo still survives, don't know how, I think it's a tank. Okay, with the U turn, uh, does a decent chunk to Obama. Tops off with a nice corn berry. Switch, switches out to a screw bat. So the Skiddo had Rock Slide, which is devastating because it's super on both my mods. That thing hurt like a truck. Swooba had a Grassy Seed, uh, which doubled its uh, stat boost for defense. So I'm like already expecting it to be a tank, so I went ahead and sent out Chocolate. Just so I can get the... I think I just skipped making out straight for Electro Ball just because I know it's slow. So I went with the priority ice shard on the skater to take that out because I did not want to deal with that rock slide anymore. And I followed up with a nice um, electro ball with chocolate to so the And then he uses Calm Mind and he gets a, a sharp blue rose on both his defenses, attack and defense for special. So I'm like, I have to take this thing out quickly otherwise it's going to get really, really strong. That was Sableye. So I use Electro Ball again and follow it with an Ice Shard, Priority Ice Shard. And then I notice that whenever I use it, Sableye still goes first with Will O Wisp. And I realize I has Trickster. I 
allowing it to go first. So I use the air cutter, it takes out Mama, unfortunately, and chocolate resisted. And finally, with the electro ball. Luckily, the burn doesn't affect special attacks, so I can like, easily take it out. I decided to go ahead and take the disable since most of the time my uh, side deck could take a hit. So. I plan on using it in the event that I have to take a hit. I can hopefully disable, you know, some strong hitting move for a couple of turns. Maybe allowing for an easy swap out. Uh, out comes this Thwacky again. And then I send out Snowball. Get faked out by the wacky on chocolate, so chocolate doesn't get to move, get burned, so that hurts the attack quite a bit on the uh, snowball, unfortunately. So, yeah. wacky only took like significantly less damage. So, I start speeding up a lot more here since everything's gonna be burned. So, everything I said I could do burn and also grabs the terrain healing, which is annoying. Um, gonna take a grass glide, which is like a I don't know what move that is, I've never seen it before, but you know, that does a decent chunk of damage. So we lose Pikachu, and I went ahead and followed up with a nice bang. This is like chipping away at everything. Bad. Follow our send out um, Sanchu, good old crystal here. Have her use. I believe it was Ice Ball, should have been. Oh no, it was probably Ice Shard. And then a Covet on the Sable Eye just because it's super effective. Something I should have done a few turns ago, but I just didn't. Don't know why. And again with the Trickster Will O Wisp. Now I've been burned in my party. Real annoying. That's a little bit, it's been ahead sped up to the rest of the last piece of this fight because it's pretty much over already. It's with the grass glide does nothing for damage. Finish off with Swacky for a good chunk of EXP. Uh, I think I do hit uh, I skip the Fury swipes. It's a not very good move since I have Ice Ball and it doesn't get stabbed. It's already a weak enough move as it is, so I went ahead and just got rid of it. Leveled up, finished it, went ahead and uh, got to claim my fossil for my victory. And of course, had to go with, uh, you know, Lord Helix. Looked at the collateral damage, or the whole damage of that file, it was pretty rough. Three knockouts and then two burns. Picked up my Lord Helix and then move forward. And I was suspecting, I'm like, okay, there's usually another fight here in some of the games. So I went ahead and save stated, went down, and sure enough, yep, there is. So I went ahead and fought up against uh, Rocket, what, Executive Archer, I believe? Yeah, that's Rocket I mean, Archer. And he absolutely just wrecked me. Absolutely destroyed me. I was thinking, okay, he shouldn't be that bad. I just fought a mini boss. They're not going to give me back to bags. Um, so they started me off with uh, his Soul Rock, which instantly self destructs and takes out Psyduck. Um, since it's a Viper, I was like, okay, that's already a tanky thing. Destroys me with um, Venafang. Then it also has Bulldoze, so I'm already saying that's just a fucked fight. That's that's just ruined. There's no way I can beat that with my two and a half Mon. Uh, so I go ahead and pop an escape rope, go heal up, uh, and then from there I kind of like race back to him uh, to try and uh, actually like fight him with a full blown team instead of the the three that I had. Fast forward accidentally uh, popped this trainer, but it gave me a lot of EXP, which wasn't too bad. So 
I spent through that really quick. I forgot that I'll need to just give absolute amount of EXP to everything. Okay, 1500 to Charlie, so this is a good, good level up session for everybody. I have to find a way to refight her just to train up, honestly. Uh, here I found a Lola Geodude. Kind of threw me off because that's pretty neat. I might want to catch one later just for the rock and electric typing. It's really good. Just a bunch of trash bombs I'm going through now just to get back to Archer to try this fight again. Part of me was hoping I'd just get a, a full odds encounter, random shiny, just from following or running through this tunnel, but unfortunately I didn't. Go ahead and retop off the pony tile just because it's missing a few points of health, and in this game every point of HP matters. Um, also going off of what I had to go through earlier, try and figure out exactly how I want to do this fight. Um, just from what I saw, just those two mons. Uh, so I go ahead and save state at the wrong time. I save state like right here. So that like screwed it up for me. Because now I can't change the party around. Uh, so I live with Obama here. Uh, he gets a stealth rock off. Um, I try and grass whistle him. Puts him to sleep and I try hitting him. He knocks me out with one rock too when he wakes up. I'm like, okay, that's not gonna work. Try it again. Grass whistle, I miss. Um, try swaggering him this time, and he still breaks through and just annihilates me. Um, so I try it again. This time I think about um, just going straight for damage. It still one shots me with Rock Tomb. Um, so I'm trying this again with Priority Ice Shard. It still destroys me with Rock Tomb. So I decided to continue the fight this time just to see how far I can get. So the shark takes out my snowball in one shot. So he's already taken down two, so we're again uh, four on five now, or four on four. So I'll go ahead and Willow with some Viper, which almost one shots the Ponyta. I'll recover a little bit of health, decide to swap just because of the poison damage. So I negate that poison damage. I go for the defense curl, and then he swaps out and just one shots. Sancho with Incinerate. Follow up with Quacker, send out um, Water Pulse, just getting annihilated. Send out Chocolate for that fake out. It has this Mighty Anna. Uh, almost kills Mighty Anna, and it just one shots Chocolate with a bite, unfortunately. And finally, I had Charlie. I believe Charlie takes it out with a Covet, but I decided to just restart this fight again. Um, Starting off with a bomba and deciding just to go for a switch right off the bat instead of trying to fight. Since Chewie and I decided to change Chewie back out just to bait that self destruct back into a bomba, um, which works. So he goes ahead and does the self destruct, which still takes out Obama. But in reality, Obama wasn't doing that much this fight anyway. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and take the collateral damage. Uh, so I followed up with Sanshu, which then he sent out his Hound Hour, which is like the best one he can use against me, so I had to swap that out immediately. Uh, Incinerate with Quacker's Tanks, but with the crit, unfortunately. Use a Water Pulse, and then Hidden Power takes out Quacker. So I'm here, I'm already like denying that this is going to even remotely have a chance. I doubt that I'm going to win this. So I'm sitting here just contemplating how I'm going to play this out. Decided to send out Chewy, hit him with the Covet. He goes for a nasty plot. Uh, the Covet does a decent chunk, but not enough. And he uses the Incinerate, which almost completely annihilates me. Finish it off with the Covet. But I already know that Chewy's not going to do well considering it's slow as shit. Go for Ice Bank if the Mega Grid takes me out. And a crit. But it didn't matter. Go for Sam Drew. Go for a Defense Curl. And it puts me to sleep. And then 
then that's where I realized I remember it has bulldoze. So I get my defense crawl off. I try and go for ice ball, but I then I get put to sleep. And then it finishes me off. Try to follow up with chocolate, see if I can do anything to it. Get that fake out damage in. I accidentally hit fake out again with a misclick and Pikachu dies for no reason. Which meant he would have died anyway. And I died to a poison fang. But here I know that I'm just SOL. So I think here I kind of speed up and just kind of throw the fight just so I can already die. I'm like contemplating this in my head right now. Like, there's no way I can do this. I think I need to level up everybody because I'm just not doing enough and everything is just taking too much damage. Of course, the game's in hard mode, so that's just how it's designed. Uh, so I decide to do this this trick instead, is where I send out Sandshrew, do the defense curl and then Ice Ball, and of course it sends out Hound Hour, and it hits me with and kills me. So like, that plan is already SOL. But I'm starting to formulate some new strategies in my head, just to see how much further I can get. Pikachu's up, I'm gonna hit it with a fake out. It turns out he swaps this to Viper. So I try and hit with the Electro Ball, which I hit it with, do a ton of damage, bulldoze hits, and one hit KOs me. So I go ahead and send in. Oh yeah, I did send in Obama here. Decided to go for that priority Ice Shard, and it barely does anything. Hits me with the poison fang, takes me out. Go for Ponyta. The stones do an epic ton of damage this time around. Go for Flame Wheel, which then he sends out his Fiero. This is the first time I've seen it. And this thing is an absolute monster. It's just it just shreds me. Go for Snubble. Go for the Ice Fang, and it hits double hit and just completely wrecks me. Uh, so here I start my training montage, uh, so I just go around and level up, just go kill everything I possibly can, running around over and over and over, Chaco tries to learn faint, I thought like, that's not really necessary because not very many things are protected at all. You go through kill some things, level up, uh, Quacker's trying to get him up, I get him up to 21. Uh, and then I realized that I jacked up and messed up uh, Snubble's evolution. I accidentally stopped it, and then, like when I realize it, um, I put him in front to level him up, and I realize he's at the level cap at 23. So I had to restart and throw this fight <laughs> with uh, with Archer. So I like sped through it, and like all right, just kill me real quick because I jacked up um, what's his face Snubble's fight, and so. And then there I saw Snubble uh, level up again, so I thought he hit the level cap again, which he didn't, so it was fine. Went through and just focused on Snubble himself. Uh, this time I'm actually paying attention during the level up uh, montage. And then I went ahead and then let him evolve this time. So now we have our Gramble, and I decided to teach him Rig Break. Um, I got rid of uh, Thunder Fang, just be or I think it was Fire. That no, was Thunder Fang. I got rid of one of the Fangs. I can remember off my head now, um, just because it has the least amount of like uh, Pokemon it's super effective against. The Rig Break would be pretty useful in a lot of things, especially because it's a fighting type move. Now that uh, he's very in fighting, he's got some good good stab on that too. So here I kept leveling everybody up. Finally get kind of tired of it and I realize like hey, let me check my moves. Do I have anything good to teach? I don't really see anything really useful. Check for items and stones I might have missed. I don't see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and top off everyone's berries again. 
to get ready to do this fight once again. So I right, so I rush it back through to get to Archer again. Once I, everything's like pretty much level up and almost the level cap or at the level cap, depending on some of them. So I go ahead and start this fight again. Um, this time I'm trying to go ahead and do um, my good old uh, ice ball uh, trick again, but it's not working because he keeps swapping to the Hound Hour and it keeps taking out my. Sentry. The sentry is not one I want to lose very quickly because of the steel typing that I want to use against the Viper. Um, so we take out the Soul Rocks, Mighty Anna comes up, kills me. Um, hit it with the Covet with uh, my Grand Bull and it just completely annihilates it with one hit. So I know Grand Bull is going to be a really good add. Uh, Grand Bull tanks a Rock Tube because it's Fighting type now, so it resists. Uh, but it has a Zen Headbutt, which is super, which I have no idea why I didn't use that before. Would've been nice to know. Uh, so I send out my Obama, not remembering that I had Rock Tomb, so that was a fail. Uh, then I went ahead and used Fake Out, and tried using Electro Ball, but then it took me out of self destruct anyway, so it didn't matter. And again, the Survivor comes out, and I know it has a Poison Fang, so it just annihilates me. So we're going to try this again, so this time I'm going to send out uh, Psyduck to try and tank uh, the self-destruct, which he does, so that was good on him. Sends out Mighty Anna, I decide to switch um, to Crystal to tank the fight, which I realize is normal effective, which was a dumb idea on my behalf. Uh, so I start trying to do the Ice Ball trick, but I decide to get it just reset the fight because it was just bad already. Um, so this is where I learned a new trick, where I can use Metal Claw, that might be better because it lets me switch. Um, so this is a new strategy I was developing, was Metal Clawing and then having certain people take certain hits. Um, so the Hound Hour had Hidden Power and I believe it's Hidden Power Ground. Or, uh, yeah, Hidden Power Ground, which he was using against Pikachu, which he killed me with before. Got to the Firo, Firo has a uh, Drill Run, which is Ground, obviously. So, of course, it's going to have something that devastating against me. So, I'm getting close to the end of the fight, and I see the, the hero um, paralyzed, but for some reason, this thing is still, like, fast. Um, so, I still managed to kill it with my Grand Bull. The Grand Bull falls as a Viper. Send out Charlie going for the burn. Um, tanks a Poison Fang. Hit with the Flame Wheel, but it still dies. Send out Quackers. Try and go for the confusion, but this thing does Mega Drain, so that it tops itself back off, puts me to sleep, and then finishing me off with a uh, good old Poison Fang. So I gotta restart this fight again. Uh, so I try the Metal Claw strat. Um, and I try to go for Metal Claw again. Uh, I think I preemptively change here early. I think I do, yep. I go for the preemptive change just so I can get a free an additional hit on the Hound Hour. Uh, so it should be good to do the fake out. Just making little alterations to it. To my strategy, and it's kind of working here and there. I'm just seeing the little benefits. But then again, that dread hero comes out, and this thing just keeps wrecking me. It just does, it does so much damage. Mainly like, because it's evolved, and my only evolved one is Grand Bull. So. I go for the fake out, I go for the Electro Ball. But unfortunately, it does a double hit, so I don't get my Electro Ball off. Speaking to you goes down. I go for Crystal, and it has a drill run. It's still faster than me even when it's paralyzed. But I managed to take it out. Um, and then the Survivor comes out, and again, the Survivor can just sweep the rest of my team just because I don't have that steel typing anymore. So I lose that fight. So I go ahead and try it again. Again, the Metal Claw swapping to take the Incinerate, getting a Water Pulse in while he nasty plots, and then tanking the ground hidden power with Obama, and taking out with Priority Ice Shard. So I get to this Viper, again I die, but this time I can go against it with my Crystal. So I get the Ice Ball going on it, and it misses three Hypnosis in a row, and I'm just like in love with this run. I think I'm gonna win. So I'm on Ice Ball 4. Which then takes out the Soul Rock, so I'm just ecstatic. So I'm thinking I'm invincible now. Hero comes out and just annihilates Crystal before I get to the last Ice Ball out. So I send in Charlie to try and get the burn. 
and it one shot, or it doesn't one shot, but Will Wisp miss. It misses the attack, and I'm just devastated. So I'm stuck with this Fero. It takes out Pikachu. Uh, I managed to take it out with my Granpool. The Granpool dies. It's mighty enough. And then I'm down with just Quackers, and then Quackers goes down. So, try to, again, I try to make some repeat, and it's still not doing very well. So I, here I'm finally deciding that I think I need to get everyone to the level cap because a lot of his mom's just surviving with like the tiniest sliver of health for the littlest of things. I got the ice wall trick going again, but unfortunately it gets interrupted by the mighty enough. And again, the Fero's here and the Fero starts sweeping. It's either the Fear or the Viper or the real tanks of his, uh, his group. And again, I lose. And then here I decide I need to do another uh, leveling up montage to get everyone to the level cap just because I think. Having everyone at the level cap will give me the absolute maximum odds of actually beating him, especially considering a lot of his module living with like one health. Or mine are just like taking just a little bit too much damage, and if like their defense was up like one or two, I'd be able to survive. Decide to mess with some items, top everyone back off, and then I go ahead and prep for this last fight. to pause the, the recording for a second so I go over and I prep for this last uh, this last fight I think I have it I think I have it down uh, unfortunately this fight doesn't win but this fight unlocks um, it finally figure out what I needed to do to get this right so again start off with the metal claw Two metal claws, and I switch into crackers thinking, okay, the water pulse should kill it now because it's leveled up. He tanks the incinerate, loses his orange berry, hits it with the water pulse uh, after the nasty plot, and unfortunately, the water pulse does not kill it. It again lives with the slur of health. Uh, definitely unfortunate. Send out a bomb to tank the ground, hit in power, kill it with priority ice shard. The Viper, decide to go for the Swagger, because I already know it's going to die to Poison Fang, lose, and then send up Crystal. Follow up Crystal with a nice Defense Curl, get put to sleep, I wake up, use Defense Curl, Ice Ball, I dodge the Hypnosis, I dodge the second Hypnosis, kill it with Ice Ball. Sends out Soul Rock, Self Destruct for little damage. Ice Ball fails, but it doesn't stop it and it actually counts for the next one. So the Ice Ball continues and one shots the Mariana. So I was stoked. I'm thinking, okay, this is definitely the run. And out comes the Fero, and it does a nice drill run to take out Crystal, which was expected because I'm still in my Ice Ball stage. I have four mods to his one, and so I start trying to go for the burn. He hits me with a pluck with a crit, and it destroys me. Decided to go for Quackers. And from there, I go ahead and go for a Disable. And I get taken out by Pluck. Go ahead and go for the. I believe it was the Grand Bull. Uh, I go ahead and went for the Thunder Fang. And get crit for the Pluck. So that one shots me. Uh, then I, so then I send out Chocolate. And unfortunately, I do a Fake Out. Followed by a. Uh, or get destroyed by a double hit. But there is where I finally learned. Um, I believe that was it. No, I guess that was not it. I still have another bit to go. Oh no, this is it. I'm just speeding up too far of it. So I do the same thing. The Metal Claw, um, the Water Pulse, switch to Obama. Yeah, this should be the full, the full blown fight. Uh, priority ice, ice Shard. 
I go for the Predator Eye Shard here to get the damage because I don't know I'm going to die. Um, sending Crystal, go for the Defense Pearl, get put to sleep, tank the Bulldoze, um, get a Defense Pearl off, Ice Ball, dodge the, uh, everything. And the same thing, it repeats itself again. But here's where I, I start to go over again. This is where I figured out how to beat this fight. I go ahead and send out Chocolate. Knowing that it's, I hit it with the Fake Out. And now I know it's going to use a drill run. It's guaranteed. He has to. So instead, I decide that I'm going to switch to Grand Bull to tank the drill run. Since it's going to be not very effective. So he does a drill run and tank it. Well, I mean, it's not very effective, but it's normal. I know he's going to use Pluck, so I switch back to Pikachu since it's a flying move and not very effective. Um, so I go ahead and tank the plug on Pikachu, and since it has a light bulb, it doesn't get any healing, which is fine with me. So I go ahead and paralyze it with Pikachu, and since Pikachu is a new send out, I can use Fake Out again for a good chunk of damage. Uh, and then I go ahead and go for the Quick Attack, since it's paralyzed and low on health, and I know that my um, Ponyta can outspeed it, I go ahead and send out uh, Ponyta. And then I decide to go for the good old fashioned flame wheel. And then finally, hopefully, taking out this Firo once and for all. The Firo finally goes down, and I can finally put Executive or Rocket Admin Archer behind me and not have to deal with this anymore, at least until later. So that was my adventure in Mount Moon. Um, I'll be bringing up the Misty fight uh, in the next few days.